there's the test and it's cold so it dropped the temperature by at least I'd say 20 degrees uh, I did put my face up close not up close like that but in front of this fan and then in front of my 5000 BTU air conditioner window unit in the in my van and this is colder and it has a harder blow than the 5000 BTU and one interesting thing too when this one was running so these fins are a little closer than the ones with 12 pipes and I was uh, brushing the condensation let's see and I didn't have any trouble pulling the air through and something I did too so I covered up this vent and the other one on the other side I covered both of them up and then I peeled to test the airflow and listen to the hum of the motor and I uh, pulled one off and then of course it started uh, blowing more air and then I pulled the other vent cover off and then it blew even more air. What I was trying to find out if it'd be better with two instead of three radiators but it actually blows faster with three radiators so I'm going to leave it just like it is. So you can actually run this through the bulkheads on the back. This is just temporary latex tubing that I use for testing. And this one I had cut for a center uh, position fan, so I just used that. And uh, I didn't put much ice in there. There's still ice in there. I probably put about a little more, uh, maybe two-thirds of this full of ice. And, of course, you can run your uh, AC unit, whatever unit you have or build, you can run, you know, an external tank like that through the bulk. Uh, bulkheads and uh, you can run it into a 50 gallon barrel or 5 gallon bucket or just a 48 quart ice chest or anything I just use this to test with because I'm using an external tank oh so let me open it up so there's no ice in here isn't that cool so all your ice is in your external tank There's this is just an air box and uh, that's pretty cool I was, I was uh, wondering how cool it would be, and it's very cold, and uh, kind of at a loss for words. I don't, know, I didn't know what to expect, but it's really neat to see that there's no ice in here, and all you have to do is hook up two tubes, one to a water pump and one for the drain. You could set your, if you, you don't have to build with this model. I'm just, you know, explaining or sharing ideas. If you have your air box and you want it separate from the ice uh, water container you can set this on top of something or beside something or like I did I just set them side by side and uh, generally if I run the vertical specter uh, radiator that's a little less uh, surface space than these three radiators that are exposed and uh, it usually lasts the ice will last in something this big about 30 minutes It'll cool for another 45 minutes, and that's on high, medium to high, but on low to medium, you can uh, get a longer run time, uh, but just wide open, you know, 30 minutes on this, and then uh, before the ice melts, and then uh, it'll keep cooling because the water's still cold, so that gives you an idea. So with this, you're not limited to how much ice you can get in there. You're only limited by how much ice or ice bottles or whatever you freeze in whatever container you decide to use. So I'm really happy about this. And I, the uh, three radiators, of course I've got one on this side too. The three eight radiators is the way to go, not two or one. And uh, so that's really nice and uh, very cold. You can turn the fan down. I have a... Uh, a digital let's see if I can grab it real quick so I have and this is all 12 volt and I ran it off a splitter that splitter there uh, the Y splitter actually came with the water pump that's inside there I think I paid maybe $17 for two of them uh, but you can hook up a rotary inline uh, on off and uh, speed controller for the fan but these when you put something in line, like an on-off switch or a rotary switch, 
potentiometer, uh, they do use a little amperage, so it lowers the fans, the top fan speed a little bit. But uh, this is really neat. I am definitely going to use this. And uh, I have the other one mounted, the vertical one mounted that I use uh, during the afternoons. Uh, of course, it's an all-in-one where the ice is inside. But this is really convenient because you can pick this up and move it and just hook it up to any you know, emergency fill your bathtub up with ice and water in a hurricane and just run the air conditioner off there 12 volt just just throwing that out there and you can when you do turn these fans down they don't make so much noise so i know a lot of or i say a lot van lifers are uh i live in a van a van conversion travel you know been traveling for a few years lived in it off grid for seven to eight years so i i understand you want something quiet so if you use a now i wouldn't use this potentiometer if you put it really low it'll kind of whine a little bit so i have the ones that i make uh, they're a little more high powered they don't reduce the fan speed as much by using the amperage the top speed so i like this this is really cool no pun intended really nice and uh i like this this is cool y'all have a good day bye bye